congratulations. Uh, hey. Your thoughts on this one? Well, very good. Hey, uh, very impressed with Shadron State offensively and uh, Jay Long's football team. Um, you know, we knew it was going to be a rival game. We knew it was good. You, you know, we knew we were both teams were going to give their best effort, and uh, I really believe that. Uh, you know, I was really pleased about our effort. Um, we got to get some things cleaned up, but overall, uh, you know, good win for the Rovers. How about the first half? I don't know if the option games ever looked better. A week ago, Pittsburgh State tried to take that away from you. Today, it was there, and you ran that at will in the first half. Yeah, it's you know that's what we do, and uh, you know we were really comfortable about the look we got. Um, you know where maybe our running backs were getting uh, more carries last week. Uh, we TJ TJ they let TJ carry the ball a little bit, and then uh, they kind of took away TJ there in the second half, and then. Uh, once again, we went back to our running backs. And I was really, really pleased. I mean, all three phases. Another thing I was extremely proud of is the big play with the pass. Uh, two, uh, I know we had a passing touchdown. and we had a big wheel route to Joe Stiffen there in the second half. Uh, just to execute like we need to execute offensively. That was a huge play, 59 yards into the wind. Right. Executed perfectly by TJ. Absolutely. And uh, good job by Joe Stiffen, uh, reeling it in. And hey, and another thing too, it's, once again, I say it all the time, we, we're, we're better when we can pick when we throw. Uh, not when we have to throw. And, uh, you know, that's a good example. You, we were running the short side of the field there. We knew that we probably had a shot in there with play action game, and uh, it worked out. How about your defense today? Uh, once again, you gave up some yards, but you were playing short handed today, and, and for most of the day, you, you made it tough for them to get the ball to their weapons. You know, yeah, and that's the thing, too. What a lot, I mean, we've, we, we are playing a little short handed this today, but we're not going to make any excuses. Uh, you know, uh, I think during this time with COVID and with uh, just the whole COVID testing and injuries in general, um, I think every team's probably playing a little shorthanded. So, uh, you know, that obviously to get some of those guys back, it's going to help us. However, I, we responded and we got the win, and that's that's the most important thing. To me, there were areas of this game of the fourth quarter that were similar to a week ago, and uh, once again, you found a way. Yeah, and that's the thing. I, I mean, we, you know, we kind of, you know, big physical offensive line by Shadron State, big physical running back. Um, what I was extremely proud of is when the defense kind of, uh, maybe they got on the defense, the offense responded, and that's what good teams do. All right. And, and Craig, you know, another thing I'd like to bring up special teams play, uh, Junior Junior had a great great uh, field goal. Um, I wish I would have kicked it. Uh, I had an opportunity to win for it on fourth down. I wish I would have kicked it the first time. Well, appreciate your thoughts. Congratulations. Enjoy this one. Thank you. And, Thank Coach, you. can you talk about the rotation between TJ Davis and Riley Harms and kind of what your mindset is? You put Harms in the first half and then again to ice the game late. Yeah, yeah. I mean, another thing, too, is Riley Harms is a very good quarterback. And, uh, and we're fortunate to have him and, and TJ. And uh, we went into this game and we were wanting to give him some series. And uh, just for that matter, another thing too, I mean, you know, obviously at any quarterback spot, you know, you never want to say it, but, you know, backup quarterbacks won't play away. And so uh, we needed to get him some reps and some live game reps. So that was kind of a priority coming in. Um, and, uh, you know, you look at him, we didn't fall off much. You know, I wish we could have, I really wish we could have uh, finished the drive. Uh, in the first half with him, he had a nice little run over there, and he, he went down the field, and we ended up sputtering out. Uh, but he's he's a great one, and, uh, and uh, you know it's it's good to get him some reps. Well, with the success that Riley had early when he first came in, obviously uh, just as much as TJ did for the most part, offensive line, uh, how important in the job they did that kind of points that out. You know, I, I got to go back and watch the film, but. You know, you look at that first quarter, I think we were probably, I don't know for sure, but I think we were probably winning the, the line of scrimmage, obviously. Um, and that's a good group. I mean, I, that's, uh, those guys are smart. They work hard every day. And, and, and you know, they're, you know they're, they're good, big, mean. A lot of them Nebraska offensive linemen. So. Coach, can you speak to the rivalry with Shatter and say you don't get to play them every year anymore, but it, it feels like there was still that passion and fire there. You know what? I. You know, what I liked is just seeing all the alum around. Um, you know, I believe I talked, spoke to some, I talked to, talked to Buck here uh, during the week, and, you know, I hadn't been associated with the rivalry. But uh, I tell you, it's as we led up to this game, I could feel the rivalry just with all the conversation and the alumni who, uh, you know, who, who played in it. And uh, definitely if we play them next, next year, you could feel the tension rising even at the end of the game. Now, Coach, you're halfway through your short four-game season. What were your goals for this year, and how do you feel like you're progressing towards those? Well, you know, our whole goal this year was to, to go in um, and get the young men 
that maybe necessarily haven't played as much that we need for the, for the two, two, 2021 season. And we're getting that done for the most part. I mean, that's a new look on defense. You know, it's a new look on offense for that matter, with the exception of some key spots. Um, and that offensive line, uh, you know, there's three new starters on that offensive line, which is, uh, uh, you know, we, I think we had a pretty good offensive line last year. So, I mean, the, the, as you move forward and you look at these four games, the goal was to get people, you know, to get, uh, you know, get valuable playing time to where we could keep momentum coming off a pretty good season last year to where we continue to, to move forward.